hello welcome back to my travel channel i'm laura or peppy daff and i am going to oh i wanted to tell you that i moved from vitoria to bilbao i moved to bilbao this summer um, because i got another school in a town outside of bilbao and it was a bit further for me to go from vitoria to my new school so that's why i moved and this town that I work in is too small, so I wanted to be in Bilbao because, you know, there's just more to do there. And there are more opportunities for me to study Spanish, things like that. So I'm going to be talking to you about my week, my first week of school. It's Friday now, so I'm going to, I'm going a little bit backwards, but I want to tell you how my week went. I only have two classes today, so two hours only. 
something fun that I'm gonna do today for the first time is that I'm gonna pretend to be teaching Japanese conversation classes <laughs> and I'm just gonna start like speaking in Spanish and Japanese and saying you know welcome to our first conversation class with Japanese and I'm gonna go and just see if people interrupt me or see if people's eyes go like this or see what happens it'll be funny so I'm kind of hoping that I hope that there's no one there who I've already met or seen before because they might like ruin the surprise, you know, because they saw me in another class in the past when I was shadowing. So I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if the prank is going to work, but I really hope that it does because this is something that I thought of doing this summer. I kind of had the idea. I thought it would be funny to make a prank with this and now I can actually do that so because I'm with adults and they don't know me so you know obviously I can't do the prank in the middle of the course I have to do it the first day so I'm gonna try my best um, to, I'm a little nervous actually because it might be just it might come off like you know how when you plan something it doesn't always go according to plan like the execution of something isn't always matching your idea so I hope that I hope that it's not super awkward and weird because it could turn out that way too but I'm not gonna do it for a long time obviously because I don't want to waste the people's time I don't want them to be upset with me but it might be you know a bad first impression but on the other hand when am I gonna do the prank another problem is that I wish that I could film them to get their reactions because it would be so funny it would make a really good video Obviously, I can't just start filming the people without their permission or without their knowledge. I don't want it to be like that, you know. Um, those hidden camera pranks, I wish that one of those companies could set me up. That would be really funny, but I don't know. It would be so cool, you know. I can't, you can't, you don't have the opportunity to do this all the time, right? I don't know if I should run this by the English teachers because I don't want them to be upset with me. I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I'm so tired. <sighs> okay, so today was okay, but I felt like with I tried the joke in the second I tried the joke in the second one and it just, it was so awkward cuz people were like really shy and they weren't talking and they were like uh, I was like repeat it and they're like cuz obviously they couldn't understand me so they couldn't repeat it. <laughs> So it's like so awkward. And then I was like, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I was, see, I'm blushing, like it was so embarrassing. And then I was like, guys, and then through the presentation, I told them why I was joking. <laughs> I always wanted to try this. I think it was okay in the end, but um, we talked about different things. I originally was supposed to have a different PowerPoint and this is another introduction that I made. And, but I think it's okay because I have less time and I want them to talk more, so it's better that I have this shorter, more condensed PowerPoint, I think. It's better. It's okay. I can always fill the time, you know, with the adults. And I had each of them introduce their hobbies and the, their things and stuff. And um, I had them guess where what my ethnicity is because I had... The first class already knew where I was from, and the second group, they had to guess, like... Aw, beautiful sunset to end my first day of school. Going to my Spanish class. You can't take the elevator though. You gotta work out. There are 25 of us, which isn't really good for COVID, but. Oh, I am so exhausted. I've been rushing around like crazy, stressed out about changing apartments and going from one bad place to another, it's so hard. I 
didn't sleep last night because I was so worried about how I was going to execute my plan of changing apartments without somebody knowing and then, you know, coordinating with my friend to help me collect my things in the morning and, and hoping that they wouldn't wake up and catch me moving my things out and question me and be mad at me and yell at me and, and be, you know, it was so stressful that I didn't sleep last night. In addition to all the noise that I usually have to deal with because I'm in such a noisy area, I really didn't sleep. I didn't know that I had to change trains because not all the trains are direct to the town I need to go to. I had no idea. So no one told me that. Good thing I got out when I did. You know, see, I didn't even have time to dry my hair or anything because I'm in such a hurry to just go, 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 go. Crazy day today. My second day, I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep last night. I didn't really sleep well the night before either. I was already tired yesterday and I had to move my things this morning, carry heavy bags and suitcases to go up flights of stairs and it was really stressful. Let's just say really stressful. And you know, I'm, I just moved to a new place and it's not like that great, but it's maybe better than the other because at least it's a little quieter. I can rest a little bit more. But this place, it's like, oh, I couldn't sleep with the noise and I had to leave. But the moving thing is so, so stressful. I really hate it. I really wish that I was a person that could just have all of my belongings in one suitcase. And, you know, I'm not like that kind of person, though. <laughs> I have problems with that. So, really, moving really stresses me out. It's really hard. It's really, it drains a lot of my energy. And then I had to go to my Spanish class. I was late to Spanish class, like 10, 15 minutes. And then I had to rush again back to my former place that I moved out of to tell the woman that I'm leaving. And I was so nervous. You know, I was like scoping my room quickly, hoping she wouldn't notice without her, you know, seeing. She didn't go in my room. So luckily she didn't even know that I had moved out. So that was me being a ninja, I guess. But, you know, she she wasn't angry. She could understand because her son hated the noise when he first moved in and then he got used to it. But all in Spanish, you know, I was telling her I'm lo siento mucho, you know, like I, I have a buen rollo. You know, I was speaking Spanish. I don't want to do it now, but telling her that, you know, I get along well with you. I'm sorry that I have to go, but I really can't sleep with the noise. And I just started work and I tried to get used to it. I really tried for these two months, but it didn't work out. Um, she's like, you want me to have him pay, give you the money back? And I was like, no, it's okay. So was, she's really nice. And then she was like, yeah, we can hang out later. Like, she enjoyed talking to me. It's really nice. She let, They liked me. And he's like, dang, I wanted to learn English with her. You know, like they're a little disappointed, but what can you do? All right, it's Wednesday the 20th and I'm gonna start my third day of school. I have four classes today. This is my long day because I have to start at 10 and I end at seven or eight, seven, yeah. Uh, but I have like a big block of time between the two classes, between the last two classes. So I have two classes now, 10 to 12, and then uh, I start again at five. So five hours, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I brought my backpack so I could study Spanish actually, but who knows if it's going to be productive or not. <laughs> that's, the, that's the question. Oh yeah, I have to eat lunch here. Forgot about that, yeah. What sucks is that I'm in a small town, so the food options are kind of limited, and I'm probably gonna get tired of the same foods, but it's a pretty good day. Cool weather. Mm, blue sky for now, but there are some clouds. It said that it might rain in the evening, so I brought my umbrella because from there, I'm just gonna go and meet, meet up with another auxiliar after, after my classes, after I get back. Um, it's just introduction stuff today. So I I slept in my quote new place last night. Um, 
it wasn't as noisy on the street thank goodness but it was like noisy like the walls are a lot thinner and i could hear the neighbors and the water turning on it's kind of annoying you know if you can hear the water turning on and you can hear people with their electronics like beeping and things like that footsteps and people thudding on the ceiling above you so I did sleep a little bit better than I would in the other place, but still didn't really sleep well. I hope that I get used to it and that I don't have to move again really, really soon, but part of me was thinking maybe I should. I don't know, but what I don't like is that this, this couple's from Nepal and they have a security camera in the kitchen that like you can see the front door so basically they keep tabs on whoever entered they said that it's for their safety to see who enters because they're gone for long periods of time and i'm like it's still weird i think it's still weird okay if you lock your door people aren't just gonna come in you know just think it's fishy you know and i don't want people i don't want people to know exactly when i'm coming in when i'm cooking when i'm doing anything i don't like i don't like that I want more privacy so i'm not really comfortable with that that could i could either get used to it and just like be like whatever or it could start to really bother me because it does bother me i told him i didn't like that from the beginning he's like oh it's not like i'm watching you like you know it's just you know i don't have time to just watch the camera all the time you know it's not like that it's just if there's someone trying to break in or i left the stove on yeah right i don't know oh in the shower like i took one shower yesterday and as soon as i like i was in there for maybe a minute or two and the water started flooding because i really i was in a big hurry so my shower was like no more than five minutes and you know how the water floods your feet i hate that it feels really gross when water like the drain isn't really that good because the water comes up and then when you turn off the shower, then the water will gradually go down. But like, I feel really nasty when I'm in the shower and my feet are covered in the water that I know is touching that drain. It's nasty to me. So I don't like that. Also, there's a lot of mold, like spots around the shower and on the ceiling. So the walling isn't that good. Thinking I don't want to, I just sneezed. I hope that's not because of the mold, you know? I don't know. <clears throat> but... If I start to feel like respiratory issues, I'm going to have to move again. Because I'm tired of this having to move all the time and it's just a hassle. It's a pain in the ass. And as soon as you find an apartment, you really have, if it's good, you really have to pay right away or else it's, they're going to give it to somebody else who's going to pay right then and there. People are like really competitive for, in regards to the housing. Oh, I got to go to class. Oh my goodness. Look what I learned. This window. Look at how this window opens. I, at first I was like, how do you do it? How do you do it? I didn't know you have to make it be, it has to be in the middle first and you have to just kind of push it out. And that's the farthest it will open. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea. I'm really, I'm really nervous about this spring. I'm really nervous about this prank. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Looks like an animal of some sort. No, there's no description. Try not to step in poop. I'm guessing it's a hippo or something like that. Looks like it. See? I have no idea. There's no description. <laughs> I don't know. And he's by the river. River horse. That's a hippo. Okay, finally, I finished day three of teaching. I'm really tired. Really, really tired. The last student I was like feeling, well, he, I think because it was the last class, but also because I didn't have a big group. It was just him and me. And he's really like, like really shy and stuff so i felt like it was hard to kind of um, 
I don't know. I just was, you know, students and teachers feed off of each other's energy. You know what I mean? So, for example, I did my joke. I was trying to be lighthearted and he was, like, very serious. He wasn't, like, <laughs> he just wasn't a good player, you know. So I feel like the three classes that I've done that Japanese joke, they there seems to be kind of a lull. I don't know if it just happens to be those particular people that I've done the joke with that I shouldn't have because they're not really good players. I'm not sure. Or if it's just that that's actually, you know, the first impression is important. Maybe they didn't like that joke. I don't know. But it's the joke hasn't gone well all three times I've done it. I'm like kind of giving it up. Most of the classes I didn't do it, but so yeah, I am going to go now. I'm going to meet the auxiliar. Oh, you can tell I'm tired. I'm going to meet the auxiliar that took my place in my previous school so I'm gonna meet with her for the first time she's emailed me asking her to help her answer questions and things and I've done it too with other axes in the past All right, it is my last day of this week. I am exhausted <laughs> um, because, you know, with my moving situation, with my living situation, I can't sleep well and waking up early as well, going to sleep late, waking up early, everything. I haven't, I didn't sleep well Sunday night, Monday night, and then in the new place, I didn't, I slept a little bit better, but still not well, so four nights, Plus, like, being really energetic for new students, meeting new people. It's really tiring the first week normally teaching, you know, new, new students. So I'm, like, kind of dead. So just got to push through these last two classes and then I can finally go home. Oh, it's cold. Yesterday was really hot and now it's cold. Like, dropped, like, 10, 15 degrees in one day. I think that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I am dead. Okay, I will see you later. Bye. Okay, this is my last day of the week. My first week. I am exhausted and tired. Oh, yeah. I gotta go to sleep. So it's different because I've had to commute a lot further. I'm not used to it. Um, I've been lucky that in my past jobs I haven't had to commute that far. Well, I mean, during my live abroad jobs, I mean. And this one is like, whew, I have to travel more than double what I had to last year. So, and I thought last year was kind of rough. So <laughs> I think that really exhausts me. I think it, cause you know, I have to wake up earlier to go further. I don't want to make a mistake because if I, let's say I miss one, one connection, one train or something like that, then I risk being late and I'm not going to be able to take a cab easily from some random countryside town to this town. I don't know. So I got to be really careful. Okay, I got to go to class. Bye. I don't know if I want more shade I just do this I can stop it and then if I want to bring them back up it just goes and, and if I push this it just stops cool I am going home early no one showed up to my last class so you know I can go so I hope to catch an earlier bus I don't want to wait around for two and a half hours more. So I'm going to beg them because I already have the ticket. I'm going to beg them to let me, to let me, um, change the ticket time. I don't know if I can do that though. We'll see.
All right, today I'm gonna take the bus to work so I don't make a mistake again. And I'm already close to the, I was already close to the station, so. Might as well. I feel really satisfied because this woman in my last, well, the last two classes, they really appreciated me and they said how useful the classes were for them. And, you know, and, then, and the girl says, I think your classes are wonderful. I'm really, and I feel really good with you and everything too. You know, because you're, you use this in English in real life. I just really like that. And she said, you have an interesting life. She said when I showed her my presentation. This was a lady in my last class, Thursday. Yeah, and I was just like, oh. And they said, and then Hulan was like, yeah, Laura, very, very good, very good. That's, you know, they were really thing that's very useful, it's very good. Because, you know, I'm teaching them things that they were never taught in school. So I really feel happy and good about showing them things that, I love exposing people to things that they never knew before. I really like that, teaching people things. So. I feel like, yeah, teaching is calling me, maybe. I feel really fulfilled and happy today. So, and yesterday I tried to talk to my roommates, and yesterday I tried to talk to my, you know, tutor, you know, clear, you know, make sure everything's fine and everything is you know, better than I thought. I guess I'm, I just overthink everything and I worry about things uh, too much. So that's good. Happy Halloween!